Hi everyone, welcome to today's analysis of a Trojan alert using Sentinel-1, VirusTotal, and Azure Active Directory. The alert was originally ingested from Sentinel-1 and tagged as a potential Trojan file. By scrolling down, we can see key details from the alert extracted and mapped to a system fields on the left. We can see the agent ID, the file hashes, the file path, the host name, the site name, and the MITRE TTPs. If we ever want to see the original alert, we can always go to event log. Since this event has been escalated into an incident, we can go to the incident itself to see the playbook that's been running behind the scenes. This playbook has three main stages, enrichment, correlation, and remediation. Within the enrichment stage, we use Sentinel-1, VirusTotal, and Azure Active Directory to collect contextual data on this alert. Within the Sentinel-1 nested playbook, we're looking to see the applications installed on the agent, general information on the agent that may not have been included in the alert, and Sentinel-1's analysis of the Trojan file. By clicking on the green check mark in any of these tasks, we can look to see the full result, including the raw data, key fields, and a summarized table. Within the agent application section, we can see that this looks like a standard device using the Microsoft Suite and Google applications. Going back to the parent playbook, we can take a look at the virus totals results on this particular file hash. The result shows that this is a high risk file hash. By scrolling into the raw data, we can see all of virus totals contributors and their feedback. By viewing the Azure Active Directory nested playbook, we can see activity logs from the same user within the results tab. We can see the action taken as well as whether or not it was executed successfully. Additionally, we can get enriched information on this user for further analysis later. Moving on into the correlation stage, we can see that we're looking for related events from Sentinel-1 that use the same threat ID. In the results tab, we can see six related events here. This includes their status, as well as the process runtimes and the related process. Additionally, we're looking to see if any other incidents within D3 have seen the same artifacts. Here we can see two other incidents that have been found. Within the remediation stage, these two tasks here are prompted for us to manually execute. Quarantine host and revoke sign-in sessions. Before we do that, let's review all of the results in the incident overview. Here we can see the MITRE TTPs mapped on ingestion, the related incidents found by the playbook, and the contextual data extracted from the playbook itself. From Sentinel-1, we can see the agent information as well as the applications and threat analysis. From VirusTotal, we can see the results on this particular MD5 hash. And from Azure Active Directory, as we saw earlier, we can see the user details as well as their activity logs. After reviewing the information, we can decide that we don't want to quarantine the host, however we do want to revoke the sign-in sessions for this user. By clicking on the task, we can hit skip and prevent it from running. Then we can click on the manual task here and hit run. By checking the result, we can confirm that this user's sign-in sessions have been reset. All of this information from the enrichment and correlation stages are executed automatically once the incident is created. This removes 15 to 20 minutes or more in the investigation time for every alert. Here, the analyst can take an at-a-glance picture of the contextual data around an alert and then decide if they need more information or if they want to proceed with remediation. 
Thank you for following along on this demonstration to see how you can use Sentinel-1, VirusTotal, and Azure Active Directory to automatically investigate and respond to Trojan alerts.